I sacrifice this global history teacher to Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> it's the Global History Show with Mr. Benjamin. This episode, the Olmecs, Mayas, and Aztecs. targets for this episode. Describe the geographic context of Central America. Explain how the Mayan and Aztecs overcame their geographic difficulties. Describe the achievements of the Olmecs, Mayan, and Aztec civilizations. Explain the causes of the fall of the Mayan and Aztec civilizations. Top five for Mayas and Aztecs. Category Days that should have been indicated on the Aztec 365 day calendar. And number five, the day we do not sacrifice hundreds of people to the gods. Number four, the day after the end of the world. Number three, corn and tadpoles day. Every day is corn and tadpoles day. Number two, day zero. Yes, they had zero, but why would you put it on the calendar? And number one for days that should have been indicated on the Aztec 365 day calendar, make the chocolate, mmm, chocolate day. Geographic context for the Olmec, Maya, and Aztec. The Americas are more north-south than east-west. Central America is south of what is today the United States and north of South America. The Mesoamericans are a great example of people overcoming geographic difficulties. Central America has a formidable desert in the north and rainforest in the south. There were many advanced civilizations in Central America before the Mayas and the Aztecs. There were the Olmecs. The Olmecs made giant nine foot tall stone heads, now believed to be the heads of past chiefs. They made ceremonial centers and palaces. They made a pictographic writing system. All of these achievements were then passed on and the Mayas and the Aztecs both built upon these. Mayas, 50 BCE to 1400 CE. Uh, the geographic challenges they faced, they were located in Southern Mexico and Guatemala on the Yucatan Peninsula. The Mayas overcame the difficulties of farming in the rainforest where the soil is lacking in nutrients. To do this, they did something called slash and burn agriculture, cutting down the rainforest vegetation and burning it so that crops could be cultivated in the ashes. They grew corn, sweet potatoes, peppers, tomatoes, and squash. They were semi-nomadic. With slash and burn agriculture, you can farm for four to six years then the soil becomes less productive, so they'd have to move on to new rainforests that they could slash and burn. Mayan achievements. They built ceremonial centers with flat-topped pyramids as temples. They built palaces, ball courts, and astronomical observatories. They had a complex polytheistic religion, had a writing system, and recorded historical events. They had a complex government with a monarchy theocracy. The king was also the head priest. They developed a calendar with 365 days. They had a number system and a writing system, and they developed zero independently of India that also developed zero. Fall of the Mayan civilization, 1400 CE. Increasing population led to increased pressure and slash and burn agriculture. As the environment was overtaxed, the agricultural system collapsed, and with it, the Mayan civilization. Welcome to the middle of the show. Joke break. How did the Aztec king slash chief priest explain his rise to power? He made a lot of sacrifices to get where he is today. Where do the Aztecs get their chocolate from? Amazon. The Aztec priests were often predicting the end of the world. The religion said that the world had already ended four times.
Aztec Kingdoms, 1300 BCE to 1535 CE. Located in what would be southern Mexico, overlapping with what had been the Mayan civilization. The capital was on Tenochtitlan, and it was on an island in the middle of a lake Texacoco, where Mexico City is located today. Tenochtitlan was the most populous city in the world with 212,500 people. Tenochtitlan was connected to the mainland by floating movable highways that could be taken back when invaded by other kingdoms. The Aztecs had a divine right monarchy and a hierarchical society. They had a severe legal code, they had a war-centered culture, and were at constant war with the surrounding tribes. They used war to conquer other tribes and capture people for human sacrifice. The most valued human sacrifices were strong enemy warriors. They sacrificed huge numbers of people to give the gods strength so they could fight the forces of darkness, allowing the sun to rise each day. Other achievements of the Aztecs, they built upon the achievements of the Mayans. They had the 365 day calendar, a number system, a writing system. They built large cities connected to trade routes that spanned the Americas. They built large temples for ceremonies to their many gods. And they built Chinampas, floating farms on Lake Texacoco surrounding the capital Tenochtitlan. Uh, they had large mats that floated on the surface of the lake and they anchored them to the lake bottom. They scooped out lake bottom soil and slopped it on top of those mats and used that soil to grow their crops. Chinampas grew more crops per square foot than any other agricultural system in history. They also controlled the level of the lake, pumping water from one walled off section to the others so they could control the level of the water so it would be optimal for agriculture. Fall of the Aztec Kingdom, 1535 CE. The Spanish conquistador Hernan Cortes overthrew the Aztec Kingdom. The Spanish had steel weapons, steel armor, guns, horses, and germs. They had diseases that Native Americans had never been exposed to, had no resistance to. Guns, germs, and steel. Other Native American tribes allied with the Spanish against the Aztecs. Karma for capturing of their people for use as human sacrifices. Learning targets for this episode. Describe the geographic context of Central America. Explain how the Mayan and Aztecs overcame their geographic difficulties. Describe the achievements of the Olmecs, Mayan, and Aztec civilizations. Explain the causes of the fall of the Mayan and Aztec civilizations. That's all for the show. Those who live by the obsidian sacrificial dagger die by the obsidian sacrificial dagger. <laughs> Crash! Splat! Lightning sounds! What? It's a...